Today we've got a group who's looking to reuse and educate and see how the economy is affecting artists. Hi, I'm Brigitte Petrine and you're watching Mashup. Richmond has a brand new nonprofit that deals with all sorts of stuff. In fact, it's in their name. Stuff Inc. is a diverse team of educators, artists, business owners, and nonprofit employees whose mission is to provide Richmond with a community space for creative reuse, education, environmental awareness, and other fun stuff. Here's Sarah to tell you more. Stuff is a creative reuse um, resource for Richmond that we've started to develop and hopefully it will turn into more of a community space and a retail shop running after school programs and summer camps for kids and also act as a resource for artists or educators that would like to use recycled materials in projects that they're doing. Um, and so our focus is on environmental education and um, creative reuse as well. Well, so far we've done some collaborative projects with Hands on Greater Richmond, which have been really successful. The first one was um, Hands on Greater Richmond Day back in October. We did an art project, a collaborative reuse project. All the participants that came out that day um, cut out their hand from recycled materials, and we put them together, and now those pieces of art hang at the Hands on Greater Richmond offices. So that was kind of our first project. Oh, a lot of things are coming up. We have a lot of exciting partnerships that we're working with. We're working with um, the Lewis Ginter Botanical Gardens. We're also hoping to collaborate with the Birdhouse Market um, once a month for probably through the summer. We just finished up and still have the exhibit up at Gallery 5, their nonprofit showcase um, was this month. What we hope to do is to bring the community together and offer um, another way for people to recycle their um, things that would normally go to the landfill. We're, that's our main aim is to really try to save some of that and help people rethink the way that they make things and the way that they use things that they purchase and buy. So I think that's that's the one side and then the other side is the educational things that we can offer. Um, we hope to just be another venue um, for um, children and families that are looking for interesting, more eco-friendly ways to um, take part in after school and summer programs. Stuff has plenty of projects coming up as they get themselves up and running. For a full list of upcoming projects, or to find out more, go to richmondstuff.org. Today's featured poster is The Cost of Living, Reflections of an Economic Crisis at Gallery 5 this Friday, March 6th at 7 p.m. What does the cost of living mean to us? What do the words economic crisis actually mean in relation to our daily lives, habits, and spending? The exhibit showcases a cross-section of artists taking a critical look at the economic fallout, its media coinage, its global effect in the political sphere, and its effect on us in our daily lives. Come back next week as we take a look at a new sports activity that you'll love. Well, maybe not Corey, since he doesn't like any kind of activity. Until then, I'm Jeff Petrini.